Hello and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I'm doing a book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Now there has been a lot of hype around this book. It won the Waterstones Book of the Year last year, and it also won the Specsavers Book of the Year, and in general there's a lot of people raving about this book, so I thought I'd give it a go. And needless to say, after reading the book, I really understand the hype. It is a good book. Hands down, it is a good book. I completely understand why it's winning all the awards, why it's got so much hype around it. So let's discuss. So the book is set in 1686 Amsterdam where a girl called Petronella Ortman is married off to a wealthy young man named Johannes Brandt. But the marriage was arranged by Petronella's mother and Johannes's sister. And when Petronella first arrives in Amsterdam, Johannes isn't all that interested. However, he realises how he is acting and as a gift he buys her a miniature doll's house. The doll's house is very expensive and it is an exact replica of the house that they are living in. But obviously the house is empty so Petronella writes to a miniaturist asking for some little things to be made for her house. However, when the miniature items arrive she receives more than she asked for and it's at this point when the story gets very interesting. Now we don't want to spoil the book any further for you, you're going to have to read it yourself. And I really do recommend it, I really really enjoyed the book. Now the overall story is great. There are so many twists and turns in this story that I just couldn't put the book down at some point. It is a complete page turner. The book focuses on Nella's relationships with the people around her, like her new husband, her sister-in-law, their maid, her husband's customers, and with the unknown miniaturist. I really thought the book was beautifully written. Jesse Burton really painted the picture in your head of what it would like to live in 1600s Amsterdam. You could just, I pictured it everything almost perfectly. The detail is just superb and I really liked a lot of the characters and how they worked and how they played their roles. Um, Johannes in particular I really liked and his sister. Saying that though I had a bit of a problem with Petronella. A lot of the times during the book I was a little bit 50-50 with Petronella. I liked her but at the same time she was a little bit whiny. There are parts in the book where she has to stand up for herself and you are so proud of her you're like yes well done but then that is counteracted by when she starts to mope and she starts letting people walk all over and I'm like, no, Petronella, come on, stand up. And like I said, the book has a lot of twists and turns, but sometimes the space in between them was a little bit of dead space. Now, the book is broken into four parts and there was like a big climax at the end of every part, but the thing is, I don't think the climax lasted long enough. It had a tendency to kind of just sort of fizzle out and drop off and that was the end of that. Also, I was a little bit disappointed by the end of the book. What's coming up isn't a major spoiler, but if you want to read the book, I suggest you maybe pause the video or skip to the next part. So my main problem with the book is that Petronella never actually meets the miniaturist. You hear so much about the person who is creating these figures and there are opportunities in the book where she could have met the person making them and it just doesn't happen. She comes very close but it doesn't actually happen and that to me is really disappointing because I would really like them to sort of explain why this miniaturist knew what was going on in Petronella's life and how she was getting all the information. But it doesn't come to that and I was a bit disappointed with that. Overall though I really enjoyed the book. I think it's definitely worth a read that you can get the paperback which is just come out very recently. You can go and pick this up now, um, but I really do recommend it. Overall, I'm going to give the book a three out of five stars. Good story, good characters, well written, just wasn't massive on the ending and the climaxes didn't last long enough. So let me know in the comments below if you have also read The Miniaturist. I will have a discussion going on down there and we can discuss what you thought of the book. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my review. Let me know if you're going to go and pick up a copy of The Miniaturist and I will see you on Thursday with a brand new video. Goodbye. End of the video bit. I know I normally talk about what video I'm going to make, um, but I just wanted to take this moment to thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing to me. It means so much. You know, I've gained like 40 subscribers ish since I started this and that means so much to me. Thank you for watching and thank you all who leave comments in my videos and those who watch and like. Um, I, I hope you enjoy these. I'm enjoying them. Um, I know I'm doing two videos a week. Um, I'm thinking of maybe pushing it to three. I'm not sure. Um, if you think I should push it to three, let me know. Or if you think two's sort of decent enough, just let me know. Uh, because I value your guys' opinions because you are the ones who watch me. So that'd be great. Um, Thursday, I'm going to be making my Books I Love video, which I was supposed to make last week. Uh, which I did make that last week, even, but I didn't like it. Um, so that should be going up on Thursday. But I will post on Twitter or something if that's going to change. Okay, I will let you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.